Hello friends, this video on water a precious resource part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, importance of water, availability of water, water cycle, ground water, depletion of water table, water scarcity and water management. So here we are going to talk all about water. Water is something which is known to all of us and I really do not think that I need to give any kind of introduction to water. We all know that we cannot survive without water. So what happens when you do not drink water for a couple of hours, maybe uh, after four, five hours or even if you don't drink water for say 10, 12 hours, how do you feel? Do you feel very comfortable and fine? Not really. You start feeling thirsty. You, you know, your throat starts getting dry. You feel like drinking water. So water is something which is very, very crucial for our survival. Now, it is not only about being thirsty when you don't uh, drink enough water. It is also about water playing a very important role inside our body. So if the right amount of water is not present inside our body, so the various metabolic processes which are taking place inside our body will not happen. So water is very important, not only for us, but for all living organisms. If you stop watering a plant, what happens? The plant dries up and it dies. So water is important for plants, animals, in fact, all living organisms. So it is something which is very important. So here in this lesson, we are going to talk about the importance of water, how important water is, what are the various roles which water plays and how water is, you know, kind of getting scarce these days. So we really do not have enough water to fulfill the needs of the over increasing population of our country. So we will see how exactly everything is happening. So all we can say is water is very, very precious. So it is very important it is very crucial so we should make sure that we just do not allow wastage of water so we will look at the important roles of water in a little while so let us quickly look at the importance of water in our life so right now i have already mentioned a couple of them now when we try to relate water to our personal life you'll see that we drink water so we use water for cooking purposes so for preparing every, almost every dish you need water either in small amount or in large amount. So you drink so many beverages, for example, tea, coffee. So for everything, again, you need water. You need water for bathing purposes, to clean your body, to wash your clothes in washing machine. Do you think your washing machine will operate without water? Will you be able to clean, remove the dirt from your clothes without water? No, not really. So detergent needs water. So in order to clean your clothes. So water is not only used for drinking purposes, but it is used for, um, for multiple purposes in the life of living organisms. So that, that shows how important water is. So in each and every day, in every single day, we utilize water for so many different purposes. When you brush your teeth, you need water. When you go to the washroom, you need water. When you want to go for a bath, you need water. You drain, you feel thirsty, you need water. For cooking, you need water. Washing your clothes, you need water. Cleaning your house again, when you mop the floor, you need water. So you see, for everything, almost most of the things, it requires water. Now, it is not only human beings, but all living organisms. You talk about uh, organisms like fishes, which live in the water. So for them, water is their life. If you take out a fish out of the water, do you think it will be able to survive? No, because the entire body of the fish is organized in such a way that it gets all the nutrients, it gets all the gases, everything which is required for its survival from water. So water is their life. You talk about the plants. Now, again, if you talk about the aquatic plants, yes, of course, they cannot survive without water. Forget about the aquatic plants, even the terrestrial plants. If you do not water them, they will also not survive. So from where do the plants get water? They get water from the soil. So the soil contains water. So that's why you would have seen that the soil on which the plants grow, that soil is generally moist. And why is it moist? Due to the presence of water. So the roots of the plants then absorb the water from the soil. And that's how 
the plant is able to grow and develop. So, you talk about any animal you can think of, elephant, giraffe, lion, tiger, anything. So, all of them need water. So, none, none of the living organisms can survive without water. Now, the sad part is that water is getting scarce. That is, water is not present. Even though water is present naturally in a lot of places, but these days we see that in a lot of space places not adequate supply of water is available and that is when we say water is getting scarce have you ever seen in a lot of places it is not only it is not necessary that this happens only in villages have you seen uh, in many localities people stand in queue just to fetch water from a tap or a tube well or some sub water supply I mean, this is a very common scene, at least in India. We do see people standing in queues to fetch water, especially in the remote areas, small towns, even in big towns, in the small localities also, you also have a scarcity of water. So this is such a sad situation because we already saw that water is required for so many different purposes. And the sad part is we do not have sufficient water. A lot of people, they spend their entire day in a bucket or a two of water. Now, if you get just two buckets of water for your entire day, do you think that's going to be sufficient? Because you, you need to use that water for, uh, you know, cooking, for drinking, for washing your clothes, for taking bath, for so many different things. So not getting sufficient water is a big problem. So it, it's troublesome. Not only that, if we do not have sufficient water supply, in that case, we will not be able to drink enough water. And for keeping ourselves healthy, it is very important to drink as much as water is possible. In fact, if, if you ever visit a doctor, they will always advise you to drink a lot of water. If you drink a lot of water, your body systems, your body will remain healthy. Your you know, different parts of the body will work in a better way. So they advise you to drink three to four liters of water in a day. Now, when you do not have sufficient water at all, so how will you afford to drink so much of water? Now, so that, that's one sad part. So that's one problem which we face these days. Now, we will try to troubleshoot this problem in more detail that, that why is water getting scarce and how can we solve this problem, at least to some extent. Now, another, uh, you know, uh, the challenge is that. So one thing that we noted is water is getting scarce in a lot of places. So that's one thing. And that is where we see people standing in queues like this to fetch water. Now the second problem is that all water which are available around us, they cannot be used for drinking or cooking purposes. For example, when you look at water which is very dirty, so will you be able to drink it? I mean even if you drink it, is it going to be healthy for your body? No, because that water contains a lot of harmful substances, a lot of undesirable microorganisms. So those harmful substances will actually cause some harm to your body. So it is obviously it is not healthy. In fact, it is harmful for your body. Now, this is the next challenge that all anyways, we have insufficient water in a lot of places. And out of that insufficient water, a good portion of water cannot be used for drinking and cooking purposes. So therefore, what happens is, for drinking water or for clean water, the scarcity is even more. So the second thing is that not all water can be used for drinking purpose, can be used for drinking or cooking purposes. So that's the next challenge. So now all these small, small factors add up, which results in, uh, you know, extreme scarcity of water. In fact, in some places, there is acute shortage of water. During it, it so also happens that during summers, rivers, ponds, lakes, all these kind of small water bodies, they dry up completely and the problem becomes even more intense. Because if you go to uh, villages or the remote areas, so pe people actually make good use of the water bodies like ponds or lakes or rivers. So they fetch water from there and though that water can be used for at least if even the water is not very clean, at least the water can be used for cleaning purposes, washing clothes, taking bath and all those things. Now, 
if, if during summers those water bodies also dry up then it adds to the problem so it, it becomes all the more serious that uh, water is getting insufficient so in this lesson we are actually going to spend a lot of time trying to understand the causes behind scarcity of water and how can we try to solve it. thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again. So now the main 